Welcome back to Sous Vide Everything, guys. Today, we are making bacon. Check it out. In Brazil, we say bacon é vida, and what that means is that bacon is life, and I couldn't agree more. After making bacon several different ways, today is the day that I make it sous vide. I'm comparing it with traditional methods, but most importantly, I am making in a way that anyone can do it at home. As long as you have a sous vide machine, you are ready to go. So let's do it! This is a pork belly. When making bacon, you're looking for two things. Make sure it's skinless, and most important, look for one that has a lot of meat. Since I'm going to be doing an experiment, I split it in half. One of them, I'll be using my smoker. Believe it or not, a lot of the bacons that you buy at the store does not have real smoke. So now that I have two of them, we're gonna be testing which one is best. This is also great for people that do not have a smoker at home. It allows you to make your own bacon without any special equipment. The first thing we need to do is to prepare our brine. I used brown sugar, coarse sea salt, maple syrup, and soy sauce. Mix it well and combine all the ingredients together. And remember, exact amount and ingredients always on the description down below. This is pink salt. It's a curing salt. If you plan on eating your bacon right away, this is not necessary. You don't want to use a lot of it. For the whole thing, I'm only using half a teaspoon. Since I have two versions, I decided to split the brine. The only difference between them is one I'll be using liquid smoke. Liquid smoke is used for several things. One of them is to make sauces. And a lot of people that don't have access to a smoker, this should work great. And we're gonna find out. After adding a little bit to my brine, all you have to do is mix it well and both of our brines are ready. Then throw in our pork belly into the bag, add the brine and vacuum seal it. Now all there's left to do is let them brine on my regular refrigerator for five days. Remember to flip them every other day. Once the five days were up, all you have to do is remove it from the brine and wash it well. Make sure to rinse it at least five times. If you skip this process, your bacon will be extremely salty. Once I was done, I was left with perfectly cured bacon. Now that I got my cured bacon ready, all there's left to do is bag it up and cook it sous vide. I'm cooking both of them in the same container at 150 degrees Fahrenheit for 24 hours. I got my bacon ready. I cooked it at 150 degrees Fahrenheit. Now the liquid smoke will stay there, still cooking. I'm gonna just leave it there. And the other one, which we're gonna smoke it for real to compare, it's ready and we're gonna take it out. Let's do it. It smells just like bacon. You know what they should do? They should make perfume bacon, right? <laughs> that would be amazing. I'll buy it. Any of the perfume manufacturer, I'll buy the bacon. After setting up my smoker to the lowest setting, which was 145 degrees Fahrenheit, I let it smoke for three hours. Once the three hours was up, I removed the liquid smoke one, and the real smoked was also ready. I quickly removed it, put it on my cutting board, and this is what they look like. This is the real smoked bacon. I wish you could smell this. Now you have a few options, cook it right away or save it for later. But there's no way I'm not gonna eat them right now, so I decided to make some amazing BLT sandwiches. All right, everybody, we have our beautiful bacons here, Mama. I love it. I, I love it. I love how, it. My favorite day this week. How can you not like bacon, right, Mama? 
Bacon is just life, like you said a little bit ago. Now this one here, I cut it kind of like country style, a little bit thick. Thick. Yeah. I love it. That's what I like. You, you, how do you like your bacon? Uh, you know how they sell in the store, the thick cut? Yeah. I wish it was twice, three times thicker than that. <laughs> I like that too. Oh, <laughs> nice and thick bacon is fantastic. All right, I say what? Before we try the sandwiches, we'll just try the bacon by itself to judge it. Yeah. Cheers, buddy. Oh, that's bacon. It's kind of like almost like a steak texture, right? When you bite into it. Almost, but not quite. Mm. Oh, I like that little saltiness. The salt, make sure you wash it, but don't wash it out too much, everybody. This okay? is not just bacon. All right. Something a little different about it. You feel a little difference. I feel that little aftertaste in the end. You feel a little bit of aftertaste of something. Something like that. I, I don't know exactly what it is, but there's something different about it. I think that little aftertaste that you're feeling that is kind of weird for you. Yeah. I think that might be it and you'll find out real soon. All right, you ready for the second one? Let's go. Go for it. Cheers, everybody. Second one. Oh, there's a difference. Uh -huh. <laughs> now this one is small. <laughs> You can tell right away, Mama. Right away. <laughs> oh wow, that's a huge, huge difference. difference. That's a huge difference, everybody. Mm -hmm. It's salty, but that first one was like extra salty, and this yes. one is not so much. I agree with you. This one, the flavor kind of mild down a little bit more, mm -hmm. but the smoke is like penetrated deeply onto this one. I say this one's winning. That one is the winner already. I don't <laughs> even have to taste the rest. All right, this one is amazing, everybody. And if you don't have a smoker at house, make sure there's many different ways you can smoke. I've already showed it on Google Foods. Make sure you do that because smoking is fantastic. Th so that one smoked. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> See, that one is definitely. I mean, as soon as it hits in your mouth, you can tell right away. No, it's like you can taste the smoke in your mouth. Like all over everybody, all over. Okay, ready for the last one? Let me guess. This is the store bought. Yes, mama. <laughs> You can tell, right? This is what normally what you buy on the store. I mean, All right, let's see. Don't get me know, wrong. This is like this is my breakfast on like keto diet. I know, right? But at the same time, I want right. to compare how different it is. Go for it, mm -hmm. Mama. How much different it is? I mean, I mean, this is good. It's Don't crazy. get me wrong. Come on. I like this one better. No, how about I like you? That one better. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody, you already tried at home. You know what it tastes like. It's regular bacon, but this one here is mm -hmm. better. That one's the champ. <laughs> I agree. But I'll say this one is even better than the first one. Maybe. Yeah. Flavor wise. We're going to compare both to see which one we like best. The last one or the very first one. First one first. My mouth. One. Salty, fatty, delicious. It's good though. It's not no, bad. No, no, it's not bad. But no. there's a weird flavor in there. I'm going to no. tell you already. You know why? No, no. It's liquid smoke, my mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> I know there's a lot of people that love liquid smoke. Sorry, guys, not my thing. Tasting it by itself, there's a huge difference. But Big now, difference. when you combine it together, I don't know if it's going to be so much different. Cheers, everybody. I like a better on the sandwich. I was reading Bacon Facts the other day. Bacon Fact, shout out to BuzzFeed. They have an actual church of bacon. Shut up, mama. <laughs> <laughs> what did they do? They preach for the bacon or uh, something? I don't, like, they, I didn't, they didn't give me too many details, but instead of saying amen, they say praise bacon. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I don't know what to say about that. <laughs> Is that real or are you joking around? That's real. That's a thing? Yeah. <laughs> I was talking bad about it, but it cannot even taste the smokiness on it, so approved. Yes. On a sandwich, I agree. On a sandwich, it's approved. It is amazing. Whoever invented BLT is a oh, genius. You deserve a, you deserve a Nobel Prize. <laughs> Let's try our favorite one, yeah? Let's do it. Okay. Second one. Cheers, everybody. There's so many flavors. The mayo, the tomato, the crispy of the lettuce. That it covers up yeah, the bacon. It covers bacon. up the bacon. Yeah. Yeah, it's good though. Don't get us wrong. It's mm. amazing. Come on. It's amazing. <laughs> but if you try it by yourself, you can really, really tell the difference in flavor. I like this one. What it is is, you know, sometimes you're eating something, and then you just get a moment that you have the flavor of one specific item in your mouth. Yes. That's when you're gonna notice the the difference in the bacon. I agree with you 110. 
Do you think that we might have a bacon overdose? Nah. <laughs> Maybe. No way. I definitely don't mind that, Mama. Oh. All right. Last and final one. Cheers, everybody. This one because it's so thin, it's crispy. Mm -hmm. You feel that crispiness. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not like meaty like the other ones. Mm -hmm. This one is almost like having bacon bits on the, on mm. the sandwich. Mm -hmm. It's just to give you a little bit of more of texture on it. Yeah. And a little bit of flavor of bacon. But it's not meaty like a thick piece of uh, of a thick cut bacon. Can we say it's steak bacon then? <laughs> it's steak bacon, basically. Yeah. Anyway, guys, these are the results. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, be sure to subscribe for future videos. Remember, if you are interested in anything I use, everything is always in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next one. This is amazing. Give it a try. You won't regret it. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.